Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Rex Finance, and today we're going to be talking about the impending stock market crash slash correction that we are currently in. This has been in the YouTube world. This has been in the news everywhere. People talking left and right about whether we're going to crash again or whether we're just in a correction currently. We've seen Andre Jick do videos on this stock market crash. We've seen Graham Stephan do the same thing. And we've seen Jeremy from Financial Education make several videos on this crash or correction that we are currently experiencing in the markets. So the top three finance and investing YouTubers on this platform have all spoken about this topic. So I thought, why would I not share my thoughts, especially because I speak to an audience that they don't generally speak to as much as I do. I'm 19 years old, so I speak to the younger audience, the high schoolers, the college students, the people that are just out of college that are wanting to start investing or are currently investing. That's my general audience. Now, if you guys are here and you're older than that or even younger than what I just mentioned, I really appreciate you guys checking out my channel and watching all of my videos. I appreciate all of your support. But this video is going to generally be made around the fact that I have a younger audience. And also, I didn't prepare any notes or a script or anything like that for this video. This is the first video that I've done where I haven't even written notes down. I'm just going to kind of talk what I'm thinking right now so that I can hopefully relate to you guys a little bit more. Now, over the past few months, we've experienced a heck of a recovery from the disease or the situation that our world is currently in. The stock markets were almost at record highs again. The stocks we were invested in kept getting greener and greener every day. And a lot of people got numb to the fact that stocks do go down. Now, what I will say is it's very easy to be a bear in a bear market. And it's also easy to be a bull in a bull market. However, we are always in a bull market in my personal view because I am a long-term investor with hopes for short-term gains. If we take a wide screenshot of how the markets have performed for the past 20, 30, 40 years, ever since the inception of the New York Stock Exchange, we've seen as a whole the markets in the United States of America increase over time. So me personally, I'm always going to be a long-term minded investor because I know no matter what, I'm going to win. And if short-term gains come, I'm ecstatic. But if they don't, I don't get too emotionally attached either because I'm invested for the long term. Now that's kind of a mistake a lot of people my age or a little bit older make is they invest in companies because they see YouTubers like me, you know, presenting these companies and saying, go buy this stock now. And they don't do their own research. And that's why all YouTubers on this platform consistently say to do your own research outside of watching their YouTube video. Because what happens is if you're not knowledgeable about the company you're invested in or you don't have a long-term mindset and you're just invested to hopefully make a short-term gain, is when these red days come, the very few red days compared to the green days come, they get weak hands and they sell out of their investment for losses and then they come back to the YouTubers or whoever told them to buy the stock and blame them for losing that money. And I personally don't think that's the correct mindset. I'll say it again. I invest for the long term with hopes for short term gains. And that's kind of a lesson that everybody has to learn, unfortunately, is don't become too emotionally attached to the green days. Don't become too emotionally attached to when you're finding success in the stock market. Otherwise, you're going to be just as emotionally attached when you're losing money or stocks are going down. Another thing that's really important to note is it is not the company that's failing you. It is the overall market. With CleanSpark, for example, their share price has gone dramatically, but it's not because of the company. It's because of the market. So just like most of us advise you not to buy a stock because we tell you to, don't sell your stock because somebody else tells you to do that. You need to be independently minded when you invest. Now, watching YouTube videos, listening to bearish commentary is all healthy if you're doing research on a company. But in the end, you need to make your own decision so that you're not emotionally attached either way. Whether it's a green day or a red day, you don't care. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, the reason the markets have been down is because of the new record daily virus cases all around the world on top of a pending United States of America presidential election. Now, what this causes is extreme volatility, and unfortunately, it's been to the downside because markets don't like uncertainty, and the amount of uncertainty in the markets or even the world as a whole has gone up drastically over the past month. Now, if you're an investor like me, you view times like these as great buying opportunities, 
If you bought stock of a company at $10 a share, and today it's worth $7 a share, why would you not buy more shares at $7 a share? If you thought the share price was a fair value at $10 a share, wouldn't you think $7 a share is just a steal compared to what you originally paid for it? Now, younger people generally have weaker hands. It's just the way it is. So as a YouTuber that's 19 years old with a long-term investing mindset that's seen such success to date, I'm kind of making waves where there is no ocean. And I'm kind of challenging the mindset of younger investors today. I don't think people should be investing for hopes of short-term gains. If they want to do that, just go play the lottery with your money. But if you have that longer-term mindset of investing, you know you're going to make money. And when the markets are red, you know what? Your emotions don't get the best of you. You stay invested in the company. You buy more shares because you know nothing fundamentally has changed with these companies. All that's changed is the share price because of the overall market kind of crashing like we're seeing right now. And the reason you see growth companies like CleanSpark and Workhorse, for example, both companies that I own see decreases much further than the overall market is showing is because generally growth companies have a younger investor base, which is kind of what I have on my YouTube channel. Now, as I've said repeatedly in this video, lots of times younger investors have a weak hands mindset or a short term mindset. And what that creates is whenever they do see green, whenever they do see success, more of those same weak hands or new younger investors pile on and the stock price continues to inflate. On the flip side, if these weak hands see that, you know, they're not making profits right now, the markets are red, the share price is going down, they sell out of their position and they lose money. They sell at a loss. And what the weak hands create, whether they're piling on the stock because they're having success or whether they're selling out of their stock because they're not having success, it creates the artificial highs and lows, which are much higher or much lower than the overall market is experiencing. So if you are one of my younger audience members, I would challenge you to challenge your own mindset around investing. You shouldn't be investing any money that you're unwilling to lose. It's the bottom line. Also, younger people need to have a longer term mindset. If you want short term gains, go gamble, go play the lottery. The stock market is best used as a long term strategy in a way to compound the amount of money you have or to compound your total net worth. And I'd be lying if I said I was perfect. I had to learn these same lessons that you guys are unfortunately having to learn in this market dip. I lost almost everything at the age of 17 because I continually invested using my emotions and without knowing a lick about the company I was throwing money into. If you want to find success in the stock market, and this has been proven time and time again, the majority of people find success by knowing what they're invested in, making their own decisions, and not being emotionally inclined when making a buy or sell decision. Market dips or corrections or crashes is when the majority of people make the majority of their wealth. The smart money capitalizes on these opportunities to buy companies at a discount, which is what I was talking about earlier, that if you bought shares of a stock at $10 and now it's at $7, why would you not buy more shares? Now, I'll be honest. Everybody makes mistakes. I continue to make mistakes. I did not see this dip. I did not see this correction coming. And I was caught in this dip with not much cash on the sideline. Now, the important thing is that I learned my lesson, that I don't allow this to happen in the future, that I always, no matter what, keep cash on the sideline to take advantage of the dips like we're seeing today. And I've always been a YouTuber that has been front and center with everybody that watches my channel. I've always put my money where my mouth is. I don't recommend stocks on my channel that I don't truly believe in myself. I never invest with my emotions. And those of you that have watched my channel for a long time know that I am true. I am a YouTuber that is out here to help you guys better your financial position for your futures. I can say this truthfully. I care more about you guys' net worths and financial futures being better than they were today after watching this video than my own net worth and financial future. My goal with this channel is for every viewer that comes across one of my videos to leave in a better financial position, whether that's a better financial mindset, whether they're going out and buying new stocks that they like, whether they change their mindset completely around investing from a short-term mindset to a long-term mindset. Whether that's not letting your emotions dictate whether you buy and sell a stock. I truly care about every single one of you viewers that are watching this video right now. And those of you that have watched me for a long time know this. I've been extremely blessed 
with my investments and the amount of money I've made through the stock market. Now, those of you that have watched my channel for a long time also know that I never hide who I am. Just behind me, you can see a picture of Jesus Christ walking on water. I am a firm believer in the Christian faith, but that's not really the point I'm trying to make here. Whether you're a believer in the Christian faith, whether you're a believer in another religion, whether you don't believe anything at all, the bottom line is you can't take your assets with you wherever you go after you die, right? We don't own any of the things we have in this world. In fact, the only reason a dollar bill holds the value of one dollar is because the human mind thinks it holds value. If we didn't think it held value, the dollar bill would be worthless. So don't get me wrong, I'm extremely grateful, I'm extremely blessed to have made such a fortune from the stock market in a short amount of time. But it really means nothing to me if I'm not helping you guys out and creating a better life and future for you guys out there. So again, today was kind of a different video for my channel. I don't know how well this is going to do on my channel, but if you guys thought my message today was a good one, please hit the like button down below so that more people can view this video and hopefully change their mindset into more of a long-term, non-emotional mindset. So with that, guys, thank you again, every single one of you guys, for watching this video and taking the time out of your day to watch me speak on a topic that you guys care about. You could have went to Jeremy. You could have went to Andre G. You could have went to any of those guys or girls and really listened to their opinion, but you chose to listen to mine, and that means a lot to me. So with that, guys, have a great rest of your day. I'll be back on Friday with a brand new video. Again, leave a like down below if this was valuable information to you. Comment below also whether you have sold out of any of your shares of the companies you own or whether you've bought more shares in this dip. And with that, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.